growing up versus waking up and spirituality. Hello, this is Chris speaking, Shores of Infinity, with a video about one of the elephants in the room of spirituality. There are several elephants in this room, and one of them is, can you be enlightened and at the same time be traumatized or dysfunctional? And the answer is, yes, you can be. As you can hear, I'm a little bit hoarse. Whee! But I wanted to do this video anyway. So, the personality, before it disappears, is certainly still dysfunctional. And if you have been traumatized, which is true for more than 50% of all human beings and the majority of all spiritual seekers, then also the personality is still traumatized, even if waking up or enlightenment happens. How is this possible? As a friend of mine reminded me, this is what Ken Wilber calls growing up versus waking up. Those are two different things. There's also why Jack McKenna is always talking about human adulthood. We still have to grow up. Actually, once waking up happens on the way to enlightenment or full enlightenment, there's still a growing up that has to happen because it, it hasn't happened so far. Physically, we're adults, but not emotionally, not psychologically. And if you have a severe childhood trauma, Yeah, then it takes longer usually. Yet this is one of the reasons why so many people are interested in psychology and philosophy and spirituality because they are traumatized. And this is why it's an elephant in the room that a few people are talking about. Being traumatized makes you look for something else, makes you be interested in spirituality. You may know this, that your life feels so fucked up that you are looking for something else, a way out, a solution, a different life. If you were totally comfortable, then you probably wouldn't look for something else, something completely different. This is also the main reason why there are again and again dysfunctional spiritual gurus, a part of them has woken up or has experienced enlightenment and another part of them, nothing has changed. They're still traumatized children who may even be exploitative or addict, um, addicted to something. Now they are again and again gurus like Osho and uh, Carlos Castaneda and so who, who became famous for being Sex fiends. Why? Because their personalities had not changed. Something happened to them as a whole, but part of them has, has uh, remained traumatized. So, this is also one of the reasons why Spider-Dynamics Coral is so horrible. The more you're traumatized, uh, the more difficult it is to get out of Coral. And the more painful it is to look at all these old wounds. Yeah? Opening the wound, as Mike Helwig calls it. So it's a bit of a schizoid situation here. Not schizophrenic, schizoid, there's something else. Schizoid just means that there's a split somewhere between spirituality and psychology. That's why I always maintain that it's good to do both. Spirituality will not take care of all your psychological problems. It will take care of some of, uh, some of them and also ameliorate some of them, but some of them will remain just the same and there is still work to be done. It's a double work, growing up and waking up. And it takes a while. 
Although I've been saying it again and again, others like Jed McKenna have also been saying it, it takes years, years, seven years plus usually, to bring all these things together and uh, to grow up also, to become a true adult, not just a physical adult. And that is also why little challenges are a good thing. To have a job is a good thing. To have a family is a good thing. Because grounding is a good thing. It grounds you. If you're just sitting around in a monastery or ashram, or in your house in the wilderness, then you will probably overestimate yourself where you are. Spiritually, you might be far ahead. But psychologically, maybe nothing has changed. And this is something we have to do, even if it's uncomfortable. And even if the themes, the traumas may be recurring, things may crop up again and again, of which you have thought they're long dealt with. But if you deal with them, then also this danger of spiritual bypassing will disappear more and more. Sri described is it as a bringing down of the supramental towards the physical plane and to lift up the gross of physical plane upwards towards the spiritual. I always call it the spiritual sewing machine. Or maybe you know the game Snakes and Ladders, a friend of mine. Uh, when I told him, he said it reminded him um, of the Snakes and Ladders game. Yeah? It's a bit like that, but in the end, it's a movement towards freedom and peace. But it's not a linear movement. That's one of the reasons why I like Spell Dynamics, because it's a spiral. Uh, that's more realistic than a linear movement or even an exponential one. That's not the case. That's wishful thinking. But there is development, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Just this light uh, is a different light than uh, you expect it to be. Okay, that's it for today. All the best. Thank you for joining me as a Patreon. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Ciao. The lotus, by the way, is in India a symbol for that. The most beautiful flower coming out of the mud.